So a very warm welcome to our expert guest from Infinity Galaxy, Ms. Rajia Gelani and Mr. Ahmed Raja Yusufi. Welcome, you. madam. Thank welcome, you. sir. Thanks, sir. Hi, Mr. Pran. So Thank this you. so this new year in the oil and gas market continues to kind of uh, make it very complex for all the players involved and people are really struggling to understand how things are evolving and that's why your expert uh, opinion on the subject is so popular and so sought after. So Thank welcome you. again. So continuing with that context, uh, our first question is crude. The prices of crude has jumped more than $6 last week. And it seems that the prices are influenced by the expected China demand. So do you see this rally to continue? Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Pranav, and thank you for the show. Uh, in fact, we do not uh, forecast the upward trend of crude oil prices at this time. In the technical chart of the Brent crude oil, we see a big resistance on the 88 US dollar. It seems that the outcome of some drops and also stability happened during the last weeks are now showing some uh, consolidation and there's not any factors showing upward trend. Expect China's demand. But on the other hand, we have some several uh, factors that affect uh, for downward uh, trend of the crude oil. One of them is 8% inflation in USA. Another one is about the US dollar index. Another one is about the prediction of recession in USA and Europe. And the last one is the out, new outbreak of COVID in China. It, these are a big pressure on the crude oil prices. Uh, right now, I'm not uh, really optimistic to see any contribution of upward trend of crude oil. And in my opinion, maybe the price will modify the gain. This is my opinion. Thank you. It seems uh, very balanced and uh, kind of... Uh... Opposing forces impacting the market is difficult to make a definitive assessment, but really a very balanced view. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, moving on to the bitumen side of the market, do you have any news about the bitumen price movement in Bahrain? And if yes, where do you see the effect on the Iran bitumen prices? Uh, well, Mr. Pranav, uh, we're looking at the seven year price reduction in Bahrain. Can be a confirmation on your first question that the global uh, prices of fuel and fuel might be modified. But the situation in Iran is somehow uh, complicated and different because of some factors. First of all, we are facing an unprecedented cold this winter. And, you know, it has stopped the normal routine of production in the refineries as well as the export procedure. The other one is, uh, you know, as a result, uh, the finished export costs have increased uh, because of the factors like uh, you know, increase of transportation costs and also the steel sheet prices for drum production has increased. Uh, also, uh, the other factor is the new implementation of GRI, which will be applied by the shipping line in the coming days for Indian shipments. Uh, and the last factor is the competition over 50% among the refineries in Iran. All these complicated uh, and uh, you know contradictory factors have created a situation that we can say in short term in Iran, we are uh, facing a sense of upward trend in, in the market. But if we want to have a clear estimation, uh, you know, maybe a passage of time can be imagined to find a, a you know, more clarified uh, response for this effection of uh, Bahrain prices uh, on Iran prices, whether it will be uh, clear or not. Thank you. It has been a very deep and very nuanced analysis. Really appreciate your views on that. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you so much. And we look forward to meeting again next week. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Thanks, you too.